Hey guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Cheyenne Alton and if you have, thanks for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. Now today's video, as you can probably already tell from the title, is going to be about the wonderful female characters of the Harry Potter universe. Now if you know me, you know that I am crazy about the Harry Potter universe. I love every single part of it and I am a massive nerd for it and I will love it always. Have an oil will. So in today's video I will be ranking my top 5 female characters from the Harry Potter universe. I will be starting from the lower end of the list and working my way up to the top. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Grab a drink and a snack and a blanket and let's get into it. So number 5, Luna Lovegood. Where do I start with Luna? She is a great witch and actually taught Harry quite a lot about magical creatures. In the Order of the Phoenix, she is first introduced to everyone by Ginny Weasley. Her fierce loyalty to Dumbledore's army, her love and knowledge for magical creatures, her comforting nature are among her many amazing qualities. She is quite an amazing character, but is most often thought of by people in and out of the series as weird and a little bit odd. This come from many things, from her reading magazines upside down and to her wearing that dress to slug on Christmas party. You know what dress I'm talking about. Number four, Sybil Trelawney. She is one weird and maybe crazy divination teacher slash professor. Or is she? If you're Hermione Granger, then the answer is yes. But if you go back and watch the movies and read the books again, you will actually notice that she does predict a lot of things correctly. But a lot of people brush her off because they think she's just weird and not really ta talented in the art of divination. Which is crazy because she did predict the whole prophecy between Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort. The whole, either must die at the hand of the other, for neither can live while the other survives thing. The channel Super Carl and Brothers actually goes into this a lot more in one of their videos. So I will have that link down below, so please check it out and ch show them some love. Number three, Jennifer Weasley, the fiery redhead, the one who was actually more than just a love interest for Harry. For me, the movie completely ruined her characters. She is one of my favourites in the book, but in the movie, they doled her down to nothing more than just a love interest for Harry. In the book, she has no problem fighting for what she loves and what she cares about, and for standing up for others. Like in Chamber of Secrets, when everyone is in, in Diagon Alley getting their books from Forest and Blots, and Malfoy starts being an asked to Harry. What did she say? She says, leave him alone. He didn't want all of that. There are many more scenes like this throughout the books that show what kind of witch she truly is. And I personally love her, if only the movies actually did her justice. Number two, you guessed it, Hermione Granger. Who didn't want to be Hermione when they were growing up? Smart, beautiful and brave. Sounds perfect but she isn't. This is one of the reasons why I love her and her character so much. Hermione showed a lot of girls that working hard can be a great thing. It shouldn't be looked down on, nor should it be something to be ashamed of. She always displayed a great deal of loyalty to her family, Ron and Harry, and the wizarding world as a whole. But with her loyalty came the rules. She would, especially with the boys. She would always help them with their homework, but never let them cheat. She would always try to be there for them, but set them straight when they were breaking rules or doing something dangerous. Most often than not, found herself stuck in situations as well and trying to keep themselves safe. She really is one of the brightest witches of her age. And finally, last but not least, number one, Beltrick Lestrange. Beltrick is a personal favourite of mine, a notorious death eater, a mother, a sister, an aunt, and quite possibly one of the craziest witches ever. But with all of that, she made just seem pure evil, which most, for the most part, she is. Her character is almost addicting to me in a way because I always find myself wanting to know more about her and her younger years. There is a movie they fan made about this very topic to do with the three sisters, Beltric, Andromeda, and Narcissa. The movie is called Sisters of Half Black. It is it was made and created by Kelsey Ellison, and I really do suggest checking it out and watching it. It is so good and does offer a plausible and interesting theory as to how Beltric became the way she is when we are first introduced to her in the series. 
Beltrix is also shown and proven to be a very powerful witch, driven by nothing more than love and devotion for her master. She will do nothing less of anything to place him. This is shown very often throughout the books. Beltrix is also someone that the Dark Lord has come to care for, and it is shown in the books that it is quite possibly one of the closest things the Dark Lord could have felt for affection, maybe for anyone. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys like it. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it, and please check out some of my other videos and subscribe. It really does help me and my channel, and it means so much to me. Please comment down below videos that you would like to see in the future from me, Harry Potter related or not. And I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you.